Good morning, folks. We're going to be looking at space weather, solar forcing from a familiar scientist, strange dust found in the Ryugu sample, an accretion boom scenario scale leveled up from our normal examinations. We've also got big observer ranch news, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We find the sun is taking a bit of a break from the flaring uptick we've seen over the last several days. What's on deck to watch in the coming days are these thin dark plasma filaments and the larger dark coronal holes. While they may provide geo-effective space weather, the flaring is dropping out due to the rotation of the sunspots towards the departing limb. They are on their way to the far side of the sun, but we can tell from the brightness on the incoming limb that there's going to be more sunspots turning into view here. That's the bright arcs of umbral and coronal fields on the left side. First up in the articles today is this one. The professor is featured in our textbook for having demonstrated that temperatures in Africa are closely tied to solar activity, and here is a much more general macro scale paper on the subject overall. He plays a bit of politics but gets the job done in this introductory qualitative analysis. Up next, folks, they finally got that canister open from asteroid Ryugu, and they are interestingly finding some features in the small rocks like melt splashes and space dust remnants embedded in that sample. They say that they are silicate glasses, micro glass. I would already be wondering if the unexpected dusty evidence in the sample was from the galactic current sheet's delivery of interstellar dust into the solar system, but the silicate glasses also make me wonder if it's been contaminated by the last micronova event since our deeper chemical examinations indicate it should be producing microglass and microtectites. Speaking of the galactic level phenomenon, and since we mentioned the micronova, which is due to the accretion of material, as channel veterans may remember, this doesn't just work for stars, but for galactic centers as well. They are discovering a repeating outburst from an active nucleus at a nearby galaxy happening every 22 days, and almost certainly due to material feeding down onto the system. Something is caught in a death spiral currently on a 22-day orbit with close approach to the galactic core there. Folks, Big Observer Ranch news. There are two links below to pages on Observer Ranch. One is for hiring. We have hit that stage where we'll be opening in a few months, and we're looking to fill key positions with observers. The other is for those who want their names or business names promoted at the ranch. The sponsorship of campsites and the children's playground at the ranch are available. All sponsors will also be thanked here at this channel as well for helping the community. Kind of a double sponsorship opportunity. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.